Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to be crushing a plastic bottle and putting a paper towel into water without it getting wet, all using the same thing, air pressure. Let's check it out. Like everything else in the world, air is made up of molecules and these molecules have weight. They are also affected by gravity which pulls air down towards the centre of the earth and this means that air has pressure. I've done a couple of videos previously demonstrating air pressure so I've put links in the description for you to check these out. The first demonstration this week is going to show how air pressure will allow you to put a paper towel in water without it getting wet. For this first demonstration, you will require a tub full of water and I've also added some food colouring to mine so it is very clear what is happening in the demonstration. You will also require an empty glass and a paper towel. First thing I'm going to do is just scrunch the paper towel into a loose ball and feed it about halfway down inside the glass. Now that it's set up, I'm going to lower the open end of the glass down into the water until the glass touches the bottom of the tub and then carefully pull the glass back out again, making sure to keep the glass straight this whole time and see if the water has had any effect on my paper towel. You'll notice that the inside of my glass and my paper towel are still dry. So how is this possible? I said earlier in the video that air takes up space and air has pressure. As I'm lowering the glass down into the water, the air is taking up space inside the glass and the pressure of this air pushing down is stopping the water from coming up inside the glass. Because I've kept the glass straight, this means the air has an even pressure and that stops the water getting in. If I was to lower the glass at a slight angle, that would allow air to escape into the water in the form of bubbles and water would get into my glass and soak my paper towel. Although I said earlier that air is affected by gravity and this gives air pressure, air is not always at the same pressure. It can be affected by things such as temperature. The next demonstration is going to show how temperature can affect air pressure. For this, you will require two empty plastic bottles of the same volume. I am using two empty two liter bottles. I'm going to fill one of these empty bottles with cold water from the tap and put the lid on and I'm going to fill the other one with very hot water from the tap and put the lid on that. My cold water bottle is the one with the blue lid and my hot water bottle is the one with the white lid. I'm then going to empty the water out of each bottle and very quickly put the cap back on top of the bottles and then I'm going to take them and put them into the fridge and leave them there for five minutes. I've got a torch and a camera in the fridge so let's see what happens. You will notice that my water bottle with the blue lid, which had cold water in it to start with, has remained mostly unchanged. Whereas my water bottle with the white lid, which had the very hot water in it to begin with, has got quite crushed from its time sitting in the fridge. So what has caused these changes? 
Well, when I emptied the water out of each bottle and then put the lid quickly back on, I trapped inside the air pressure at the temperature the bottle was at. Higher temperatures mean a lower air pressure and cooler temperatures mean a higher air pressure. Now, the thing about air pressure is that high air pressure wants to move into an area of low air pressure and vice versa so that it can balance itself out. Because the water bottle with a white lid had a very low air pressure in it and then it was put in the fridge which has a high air pressure, this high air pressure was trying to get inside the bottle to balance out and it ends up crushing the bottle. Whereas the blue bottle had a much lower temperature to start with, therefore it had a higher air pressure and it has not been affected by the higher air pressure inside the fridge. This is a fun, simple one that you can do at home as long as you've got two empty bottles and a fridge. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to the other STEM demonstrations I've done so far and here to my brand new STEM career interviews. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring air pressure.